My father used to come into class and whoop me in front of everybody. Yeah, a long time ago. But I was a major, high-level juvenile delinquent that could have definitely been in trouble all the time. Every time I left the house, it was, it was, a, it was trials and tribulations for me. Do I put this needle here? Do I smoke this? Do I sell this? Do I carry this gun for this guy? Do I, it's every time I left the house. And my father knew I was stubborn and hard -headed. That's why he knew that all the tactics he used on me would definitely work. And it did work. My father taught me not to really cry and be sad. So when he passed away, I really let it go because I didn't get to tell him thank you enough. To kill promised my dad before he died. My dad said, take care of them. And he told him, it's in his hands now. So kind of like passing the torch down, so to speak. You see now I started following you? Mm -hmm. OK, good. good. Make sure you so send me stuff. Father told me a long time ago it's a man's job to protect and provide. So now that the Don is gone, second in charge, which is me, I protect and I provide for my family, my brothers and sisters' family, my mother's family. It's what you got to do as a man. Yeah. UCF? Mm -hmm. It's 3000 right, a semester? That's easy. College needs to be paid for. Let the Godfather do it. Need a new car? Let the Godfather do it. And that's my job. With his stepfather gone, Shaq now feels it's his duty to provide for everyone in the O'Neill family. It is his obligation as a father, brother, son, and leader. 